So let's take a quick look at an example of importing a PCF file, which may have come from most third-party plant or CAD design products. So I'll add the file. And there are some settings here uh, to help the import import successfully and according to your settings and your needs. And these can be changed and worked with as you see uh, you need changes as you start to try to import a file. Usually, once you have these settings set up and it works for a file, as long as the same uh, CAD designing techniques are used, usually it will work for your group from then on out. So I'll leave the default settings and I'm just going to convert this file. The status is shown on the bottom left. It says it's converting one of one. And you may see some dialogues pop up during conversion for material and component mapping. So basically this is asking me, what do I want this component, the PCF component down at the bottom to be mapped to an auto pipe, what material? So I wanna pick the right material for this uh, type of component. Um, I will just pick a A106B for now and click OK. And again, I see the same thing pop up. So I'm gonna tell the program to use this material for all the remaining components. And I can say OK. It will continue converting. If there are any other materials or components that it doesn't recognize, it will pop up with a mapping dialog. And once it's converted, it tells me the process was successful and I can review the warning messages. It's always a good idea to review the warning messages and go through this uh, one by one and make sure that everything looks okay. Hopefully they are just warning messages and everything is okay, but you may need to make some adjustments. And Autopipe also on opening the model runs what's called a global consistency check. Again, just some messages that you might have of warnings or errors uh, that the that don't look right to Autopipe for the analysis engine to run. So again, we'll need to go through these and make sure that everything is okay. If not, make changes to improve the model. Once I go through those, I can see my model has been imported. I can review the model and I should review the model. I should have a checker review the model. And I may see some parts of the model that don't look exactly as I would have expected on import. And so I might need to work with those settings in the PCF translator to get everything to import successfully. Especially the first time you're importing for a new company or a new project or a new designer or a new program, CAD program, you may need to make adjustments to the settings on import and to the mapping files. Uh, but you can see that the general model comes in pretty successfully here. Uh, I have a webinar available as well uh, that goes into detail with this model on changes that can be made and that were made to make this import a bit more successful. You can see there's some extra anchors in here. Uh, so there are settings, uh, quick type of settings that can be checked on or off or some mappings that can be made to help this model be uh, completely successful. But as a first trial run, you see that we got the general model to import successfully here.